Dijkstra algorithm for finding the shortest path. Given a weighted graph, say G, and a source vertex, say S, The algorithm returns the shortest path from S to any of the other vertices. So let me start with an example. Let's say that this is our example. Now, given that the source is S, we want to find a path to each of the other vertices such that that path has the minimum weight. So let's say we want to go to B. Now, from S, there are two paths to go to B. You have a direct path from S to B, which takes a weight of 3, or you have a path through A that takes a weight of 1, plus 1 which is 2. So the shortest path from S to B will be the path through A. So for each of the other vertices apart from the source we are going to get a path from S to that vertex which is going to have minimum weight. So let's see how Dijkstra algorithm is going to solve this. So the first thing in Dijkstra algorithm is we are going to consider two sets of vertices. The first set will be called the explored vertices and the second set will be called the unexplored vertices. In the beginning all the vertices are unexplored. Now I have S, A, B and C in my unexplored side. Now I am going to represent each of these vertices in the following way. I will write the name of the vertex. Then as a superscript I will give D and P. So what does this D and P stand for? First let's take a look at D. D is going to be the minimum distance from the source to that vertex and so when we say that there is a minimum distance from the source to that vertex we are going to go through a path from the source to that vertex now this path that the minimum distance is coming from must include only explored edges so d is the minimum distance from the source to that vertex and the path used must only have explored vertices. So that is what D means. Now let's look at P. P is going to be the parent of that vertex 
in the path used to get the minimum distance. So we are going to take a path from the source to that vertex. That path should only include explored vertices and the parent of the concerned vertex within that path is going to be P. So with that in mind, let's start our algorithm. So let's start with node S. What is the distance from the source S to the vertex S? They are the same node. So the distance from S to S is going to be 0. What is the parent? There is no parent since it's the same node. Now we go to A. We need to find a path from the source S to the node A that consists of only explored vertices. There are no explored vertices. So there are no paths from S to A. If there is no way to reach A from S given these conditions, we say that the distance of this vertex is going to be infinity. And what is the parent? There is no parent since there is no path. Same goes for B. There is no path from S to B given this set of explored vertices that is none. So the distance is going to be infinity. Similarly, the distance of C will also be infinity. So now, what have we done? We have given the distance from S to these nodes given these explored vertices. Distance of S to S is 0 since it's the same node. Distance to A is going to be infinity since there is no plausible path. Similarly, D and C are also going to be infinity since there exists no path from S to these vertices through absolutely no explored vertices. So this is going to be our first initial state. Now the next step is set the vertex in the unexplored section with the least distance to explode. So the vertex with the least distance is going to be S. So I'm going to explore S. Now our unexplored edges are going to be A, B and C. Now that I have explored S, is there a path from S to A? Yes, there is a path from S to A using the explored edge S. The distance of that path is going to be 1 and the parent of A in that path will be S. Now I see B. Is there a path from S to B using the explored edge S? Yes, there is a path with distance 3 and parent S. Now I see, is there a path from S to C using only the nodes S? No, there is no path that goes from S to C with only the explored edge S. So this continues to be infinity. Now what must I do? I'll take the least distance vertice from the unexplored side and add it to the explored side. I will still have B and C in my unexplored side. Now that I have explored both S and A, let's see what else opens up. Can I reach B from S and A? Yes, I can reach B with a weight of 2. Since 2 is going to be less than 3, this path now becomes my minimum distance path. In such a case, what must I do? I will give the weight or the distance of B as 2 and the parent of B as A. Now, it is important to note that I only substituted this 3S with 2A because 2 is going to be less than 3. Suppose a path had opened up with a larger distance, I am not going to update the distance of B. Why? Because I am always choosing the minimum distance. So 
2 is going to be less than 3. So I have found a path with a shorter length. So I'm going to set that as my distance and update the parent. Now let's go to C. Given S and A are explored, is there a path from S to C? Yes, there is a path from S to C using these two nodes whose distance is 11. 11 is less than infinity. So we are going to update the distance. The parent of C is going to be A. Now I'm going to take the unexplored node with the minimum distance and explore it. Now that I have explored B, let's look at the node C. Is there a path from S to C using these nodes? Yes. So now the distance between B and C is going to be 4. So what will be the shortest distance from S to C? It is going to be 4, which is going to be this link, plus the minimum distance from S to B, which we have already calculated as 2. So this is going to be 4 plus 2, which will be 6. And what is the parent? The parent will be B. It's important to remember here that when we are updating distances, we are going to take the edge which connects the explored edge to the unexplored edge and add it to the distance we have already calculated for that explored edge because that is going to be the minimum distance. So what did I do here? I added 4 which goes from B to C to the distance that B already had that was 2. So that's how I got 6 which is going to be our minimum distance. Now I include the last unexplored edge to the explored side. Now that all the unexplored edges have become explored, we can stop the algorithm. So now we need to find out from S what is the shortest path to go to A, to go to B, and to go to C? Let's look at A first. I have A as my destination. Now, the parent of A is S. So that is going to be my path from S to A. Now let me take B. I have B as my destination. The parent of B is A. Now I go to A. The parent of A is S. So my shortest path from S to B is going to be S to A to B. And that is going to have a cost of 2. S to A will have a cost of 1. I'm just adding the distance at which I'm getting that vertex. Now let's say C. My destination is C. The parent of C is B. I go to B. The parent of B is A. I go to A. The parent of A is S. And the cost of this path is going to be 6. So this is how the Dijkstra algorithm is going to work to find the shortest path in a weighted graph.